Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a new Spring Boot project with IntelliJ IDEA. If you are using Community Edition just like me, then please follow the steps in this video. On the other hand, if you are a user of Ultimate Edition, then you can do that from within the application. Nevertheless, let's see what possibility do we have in case of Community Edition. Let's open up a browser and navigate to the start.spring.io page. Right here we have the possibility to adjust our project settings. So, for the project type I will go with Gradle, this is preferred for me at least. Language I will set Kotlin, I will leave the default Spring Boot version 271. When it comes to the project metadata, Though values are totally up to you, I'll put com.coderc right here, artifact web flux postgresql, description, let's leave the default, the same for the packaging and Java version. On the right side, we have the possibility to add additional dependencies to our project, so let's open up and see what possibilities do we have here. First of all, we'll need Spring Reactive Web. Additionally, Spring Data R2DBC, which will be used to connect to our PostgreSQL database. And finally, PostgreSQL Driver. This one um, is used both for JDBC and R2DBC uh, connection. If Ever in the future you won't be able to find anything right here, you can just navigate to Maven repository, which is pretty useful to find additional libraries. In the bottom part, we have the possibility to check what type of files and how do they look like when they will be generated in our uh, zip package. If I hit generate, then the zip package which will be downloaded to my local machine. So let's go to showing folder. I have already downloaded them, so I'll hit right here, extract all and extract to the same directory. With that being done, we can open up IntelliJ IDEA and hit open. Let's navigate to download or your desired destination right here and let's select the directory with this small black icon hit ok you can trust project uh, because you have created that so let's hit trust project and now we'll have to wait a while until all of the dependencies will be downloaded and indexing takes place. You will see the process in the bottom part. When you hit right here, you can open up this model window. Let's wait a while. So after some time, we can see that the build is successful. So we can navigate to the main package Kotlin and select the application. Let's click this green icon right here. Okay, so we can see that the application was trying to start, nevertheless it failed. This is expected because uh, we have added the R2DBC and PostgreSQL uh, driver to our class path and it's trying to connect by using the default values to the database which does not exist yet. I will show you how to do that in next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.